Welcome to this instructional video about managing QFabric using Juno Space Network Director 1.5. This section describes discovering a QFabric. Discovering a configured QFabric is similar to discovering any other device type using the Discover Devices task in Build Mode. To discover a queue fabric, enter its management IP address. Network Director automatically discovers the member devices of the queue fabric system, except for the control plane Ethernet switches. Discover the control plane Ethernet switches separately by entering their management IP addresses. Enter the credentials for the queue fabric and control plane Ethernet switches. The account must have administrator privileges. You only need to enter each unique set of credentials once. That one entry will be applied to all devices on which it applies. I am choosing to run the discovery job now. You can review and edit the job settings before running the job. After the queue fabric is discovered, it appears under the Fabric node in the View pane in Logical View. The member devices are separated into subfolders by their type, directors, interconnects, and the types of node groups. The control plane Ethernet switches are not automatically associated to the queue fabric, so initially they appear under the Switching Network folder. Associating the control plane Ethernet switches with the queue fabric is covered in the section on Setting up a queue fabric. The Setup Queue Fabric task enables you to manage node aliases and node groups and to identify the control plane Ethernet switches for the queue fabric. Changes you make with the Setup Queue Fabric task are applied to devices immediately when you finish the task by clicking the Deploy button. To begin, in Build Mode, select the queue fabric in the View pane. Select the Setup Queue Fabric task. On the Manage Aliases page, you can manage device aliases, which are names that you assign to devices to make them easier to recognize. You can change a device's alias by clicking in its current alias in the Alias row. Or you can assign automatic aliases to a group of devices. Begin by selecting the devices and clicking the Auto Alias Selected Devices button. An automatic alias definition includes a name and a number. The name is used as the start of the alias for each device. The number is the first in a sequence of numbers that is appended to each alias name to make it unique. To see a preview of the aliases, enter a node name and starts with number. The resulting node aliases appear in the new aliases field. On the Node Groups page, you can manage Node Groups, which are groups of Node devices that connect to servers or an external network. You can add and delete Node Groups and edit the membership of existing Node Groups. To add a Node Group, click the Add button. Select the Node Group type and enter a name. Use the Add and Remove buttons to select the nodes for the Node Group. On the Identify CPE Switches page, you can identify the control plane Ethernet switches for the queue fabric. Doing this is necessary to use Network Director to analyze the control plane. Use the Add and Remove buttons to identify CPE switches. On the Review page, you can review the changes you have made. To deploy the changes to the network, click the Deploy button. Mm -hmm. 
After deploying the changes, the control plane switches are associated to the queue fabric and appear under its node in the view pane. This section describes analyzing a queue fabric. The Fabric Analyzer analyzes a queue fabric and provides information about its health, connectivity, and topology. To run the Fabric Analyzer, in Monitor Mode, select the queue fabric in the View pane, then select Run Fabric Analyzer in the Tasks pane. When the Fabric Analyzer finishes, you view the results on the Fabric Analysis tab. The Fabric Health Check tab shows the results of health checks of the control and data planes. Click the Details button to see detailed information about the control plane checks. The Connectivity Check tab shows the results of a connectivity check between the Q Fabric member devices. Select which devices you want to check from the list. You can check the connectivity between the interconnects and the nodes, or between the nodes. You can view the connectivity data in graphical or table format. In graphical format, mouse over the colored square representing a device to see information about that device. The Control Plane Topology tab shows the topology of the control plane. The links are color-coded to show their function. Mouse over the Legend button to see the meanings of the colors. The Data Plane Topology tab shows the topology of the data plane. On the Control and Data Plane Topology tabs, use the Zoom buttons to zoom in and out. This section describes monitoring a queue fabric. Several monitors for queue fabrics are available in monitor mode. Each member device, including the node that represents the queue fabric, has a status monitor. The Access versus Uplink Port Utilization Trend Monitor shows the distribution of node ports that are used for access versus uplink. The Node Device Summary Monitor shows the top five nodes that have the highest bandwidth utilization. Each container node, for example the Directors folder, has a status summary monitor that summarizes the status of all the devices of that type. For a selected director device, the QFabric VM status summary monitor shows information about the VMs running on the director. This section describes viewing QFabric connectivity. In Topology View, you can view the connectivity of a QFabric. To use this feature, you must be connected to the Internet and you must add at least one member device of the queue fabric to a rack. A rack is a component of a location, which you configure using the tasks in the location folder. In Topology View, navigate to a rack that contains a queue fabric member, then click the member. Select the task Show Queue Fabric Connectivity in the Tasks pane. A connectivity diagram of the queue fabric opens. The links between the devices are color-coded to show their status. You can mouse over any device or link to see more information about it.